Welcome. Today we'll be looking at working with Aruba Instant on networks using an API. I'd like to give credit to Mr. Luke Whitelock, who initially worked on reverse engineering and documenting Aruba's Instant on API. So let's get started. To work with the API, I've created a Postman collection and used the same collection for documenting the API as well. This documentation is available online and a link for that is given in the description below. Once you open the link, you can click on the Run in Postman button to download this collection to your local computer. After opening the collection in Postman, you need to go to the environment and enter your Aruba Cloud credentials in it. So the variables Aruba underscore username and Aruba underscore password should be populated with your actual Aruba Cloud credentials. You can see that the collection is divided up into two parts. The first is a folder called authorization, which has four requests that when executed in sequence will result in your user getting authorized on the API. It will obtain the necessary token to then execute all the requests for fetching information from Aruba Cloud and uh, posting uh, changes to Aruba Cloud. And those requests are given in the requests folder. So let me show you the authorization part. I first need to select the environment that has my actual cloud credentials. So we will go to the run folder option and we will click on run Aruba Instant on API. Now it has executed the four requests that were needed for authorization. So now we are ready to uh, start getting data from the Aruba API. So let me uh, run this request. We got a 200 OK response from Aruba Cloud. The response is in the form of JSON and it contains several parameters. One of them is the ID of that site. So while making a site specific request, we would need to specify this ID in the, in the URL. So for example, if you look at the next request, the landing page summary request, it has to have the Aruba site ID um, uh, in the URL. So my environment already has the site ID, but you would need to set that for your environment. So for example, if we look at the landing page summary, it shows you that uh, there's one uh, wireless client currently connected uh, on this site and it has two networks configured and uh, so um, this is the site name, this is the site health. Similarly, uh, it gives you information to collect alerts from the Aruba cloud for this site. So you can see the alert count and the type of alert, the severity. And uh, similarly, if you want to know the inventory deta details, uh, you can see that uh, it has uh, uh, one element uh, and it is an access point. Its status is currently up. And uh, so the next thing is how to make changes. So, so this currently we are, we are just fetching data from the API. For example, if we, if we want to see the guest portal settings, uh, this request is for getting the guest portal settings. Suppose we want to change something in it. So for example, uh, it has the... Um, uh, captive portal configured and it has uh, radius configured so this is the radius server and this is the radius secret so for example uh, we want to change the radius server right so from one two three four we want to change it to five six seven eight so let's do that so for doing that uh, we would use the same url but instead of get we would use a uh, put uh, so so let's select this put request and in the body we would paste uh, the content that we just copied and we would update the IP address 5.6.7.8 and uh, so after sending this request uh, the IP address is going to be updated so we can execute the same old request and see if the IP address has been updated or not. So you can see that the IP address has been updated. So you can use this collection for uh, for getting data from Aruba Cloud and also making changes uh, and posting those ch changes back to Aruba Cloud. So I hope that this video has been informative for you and uh, uh, have fun using the API. Thanks a lot.